Hello, all developers. Hello, all aspirants. Good evening, each and everyone. Um, welcome to another session with me, Varun on Tech Tablet. And in today's session, we would be understanding or we would be looking at what an SDK is in SAP UI5 theory, right? And this would be a developer learning series, right? And if you have, if you have, you know, like my videos, and if you want to follow me, you can do that on Facebook or on my Instagram my ID. On the ID is mentioned below. Which is varunrao underscore gemini at yahoo.com on Facebook or Insta would be varunrao underscore gemini. Right? So now going forward, this for all those who do not know me, I have an experience in SAP of around four and a half, nearing to five years. I, and I have knowledge on the back for data, HTML5, JavaScript, XML, CSS, and JSON. And currently, I am on preliminary stages of acquiring knowledge on IoT, AI, Python, machine learning, and deep learning for data science, or Leonardo. I'm not sure, but then, yeah, one of them. Uh, so, yeah, this is about me. So, in short, I'm an SAP ABAP UI5 theory developer, and I have an experience of four and a half years as stated. So, in this session, we would be looking at a few things like understanding why do we have to use the SDK? Is it really required for this? I mean, a lot of developers have this question in mind if an SDK is actually required for us and if there's an alternate to this. So we would be looking at all these questions. So they would be, why do we have to use an SDK? Is it really required for us? Is there alternate to this? And how do we use this for development, right? So as usual, as we all know, what we'll do is, We'll quickly go to the SDK without wasting any further time. And we'll take this in parts. So we'll take this video in two parts. Okay. So the first part would we'll talk about how and how to identify or what are the different parts of SDK. And in the second video, we would be looking at understanding the SDK in detail. So let us now go to the website. So this is the website, guys. SAP UI5 HANA.ONDEMAND.COM For all those who do not know this website, well firstly, this is the most important website that you could probably use, right? This website would be having five tabs, which is documentation, API references, samples, demo applications, and tools. So the first part or the most important thing that you should be beginning with is understanding the documentation in which you would be having uh, what's new in SAP UI5 followed by some things that you've got to read about the version and the libraries and what is the you know, new update you have. SAP UI5 versus Open UI5, you know, different things that you should be knowing about how to get started, okay, what's your data, what's version 4, what's a 3D viewer, what are the different smart controls you have followed by how to extend application. So you can just start reading about all these as a warm up, and then go to the tools to understand what are the different features or options given by SAP for us to use, right? So we have something called as SAP build, which is www.buildme.com. We would be looking at that also in a while, or probably in the upcoming video. Right, and then I have a theme parameter toolbox. All right, I also have a UI5 build and a development tooling followed by a support assistant. I have an icon explorer and a UI5 inspector. So, UI5 inspector would basically give me an add on to my Chrome, which is so it's already added on to my Chrome, so I don't have to add this. So, if in case you want to add this to your Chrome, you can do it. I also have an icon explorer tab, which would give me the options of adding different icons that I'm able to, or that we would be able to see on all the general scaling applications, right? So here you have you know, different icons available. So any of these can be used. So now let us say you want to use this blur icons. How do you do that? You just have to click on that blur and you would be having the code of it here. Right, so this is an example of where and how you can use it. Um, this is a preview, and these are some typical use cases. See, you can use them in any of these variants. So you can just click them, you can check on them to see how they they work. Right, so these are bits and pieces of you know 
application, right? And now let us say you want to copy this, you just can you know, do this and it'll get copied to your clipboard or else you can also do the regular copy paste control C, control V, right? So you can just copy this or I think this should do because this would also do the same thing, right? And here you have a detailed view of the same, right? So, you know, the different icons. This is a visual, all right? I mean, you can just check whatever you want. And these are some favorites, if in case we've saved any. And in total, you have around 600, so that's 653 icons in total, okay? So you might be asked about them. So these are SAP icons, and then you have different set for SAP Business Suite and SAP Fury, right? So notwithstanding the Icon Explorer, again, going back, to the place where we started from. Then in the tools, we have finally SAP Web IDE and UI Theme Builder. So with UI Theme Builder, you would be able to modify or create your own template, which is uh, you know provided by SAP or, or something of your own. Now, why do we use a theme builder? It's basically to give a corporate identity to the application. Now, if you're working for Microsoft or let us say Google or probably any of these organizations then they would definitely expect their own logo their own uh, you know uh, workspace or their own uh, address so I mean they would expect an entire design of their own ingenuity so you can access or you can do all these things using the UI theme builder Right. Then you have the SAP Web IDE tool. When you click on this, you would be directly taken to the SAP Web IDE. We already have another series on SAP Web IDE covered. I hope most of you must have gone through it. And for all those of you who do not know, this is probably the 16th video on SAP UI 5 Fury Learning Series. And in the upcoming videos, we would also be looking at how to create some complex views, followed by how to use them. Uh, or how to change the complex views uh, using CSS. And then we would be moving on to also understanding the controller in JavaScript. We will be looking at some basic case studies of controller example in JavaScript, right? So I hope this should be helping at least a few who's looking for some basic on SAP UI 5 so that they can at least crack the interview and start working and then probably gain expertise on their own experience. Right, so we, we, we are done with the documentation and the tools. Now let's head on to the demo apps. Now this is the place where you would be able to see different variant of applications. And here is the heading. So this these are miscellaneous demo apps. These are some flexibility demo apps followed by template applications. So these are some demo applications with tutorials. And here you have some showcase applications. So showcase applications are basically for you to have a look and feel of how SAP UI5 Fury, uh, you know, looks like and how these applications basically work like. So it's basically for you to understand, right? So this is how these applications look. So this is a master detail. You have intra and inter page navigation. When you click on either of them, you would be, you know, able to go to another page. Then you have some develop demo apps with tutorials for developers or for development. So here you can just go to any of these. So this is an uh, uh, so as you're able to see, this is a navigation and a router uh, tutorial. Tutorial. So I am going to one of these. So here I'm just navigating from page A to page B. So this is a tutorial. Okay. Now here you have view documentation. Uh, okay, here it is. So here you have your tutorial. So if you go into it, you will be able to see how they have, you know, how they've been able to achieve the navigation and routing. Now, if you want to uh, access the code, you can just come here and you can just follow these steps and you will be able to access the code as well. All right, now going further. You then have some more applications, which is template applications, like you have work list based applications, master detail, basic templating, and work list, okay? Now, what I want you to do, now, now these two work lists, this, this is work list and this work list, FLP, which means Fury Launchpad, okay? Please do not get confused. Now, uh, what would happen, or what I want you to do, or what you should ideally be doing is, before you go on to, 
an interview or before you appear to an interview, you should be going for a very detailed study on each of these, right? Because if you are able to understand these, I would not say if you're able to know these, I would say if you're able to understand these very precisely, the documentation, demo apps and the tools, I think you, 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 you are ready to call yourself a UI5 Fury developer. You know the dynamics of UI5 Fury development. You just need to get hands on. And for that part, you need to get on to API and samples. I mean, for your hands on experience, these tabs are the part. So we leave these two tabs for the upcoming video, right? In the meanwhile, what I would request you to do if you want to crack an interview is start understanding the documentation, the samples, uh, sorry, not the samples, start understanding the documentation, the demo apps and the tools. In the upcoming video, we would be looking at what is the change version feature that we have, what is samples and what is API references. And when we get to know these, I think you would be very gladly able to accept the fact that if you know this website, which is SAP UI5 HANA on demand .com, or in short, the SAP UI5 SDK, I think you would be accepting the fact that you can call yourself a developer, probably without experience though, right? So we'll handle this together. And in the upcoming videos, what we'll do is we'll also take up more case studies on complex views and notwithstanding complex views, we'll also take up uh, you know, different case studies on controllers with JavaScript and how to create an application and, and, and you know basics of SAP UI5. Good enough for you to call or, or good enough for you as an experience of one to two years. So I hope this should be helping at least a few, right? So, and I also hope that the agenda of this session is satisfied. That is why do we have to use the SDK? Now that you have so many features, I don't think there is an alternate and I also further would like to add that SDK is one of the most important part of your development uh, framework because it's a software development kit. It is not a gaming console which you can probably use it for your own flexibility. It is something that you would require when you build an application to extract different uh, you know, information from it. Is it really required for us? Well, I would say Yes, it is actually required for us. Is there an alternate to this? Well, you can debug or you have built me, you have, uh, uh, you know, the SAP help forum, but then they are all, I think, not even 30% of what SDK can actually do for you. And then how do we use this for development? Now, this is the question which we would be answering in the upcoming video, but then if you've got to get a better understanding on how to use this for development, I would suggest that you go through the three tabs that we've been doing today. In a very short while, we will be looking and answering this question also, and then we will move on to the 16th or 17th video, which will be complex views and uh, CSS followed by controllers and, 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 and you know other things, not only on the Eclipse paradigm, but also on the Web IDE platform. So I hope you have enjoyed watching and I also hope that you've learned something new. If in case you did, then please subscribe to this channel and also hit the like button because if you can let us know what is it, if you like the video or not, that would encourage us or that would probably motivate, motivate us to make more videos. And if you feel that this might be useful for at least a few out there, share this video because if at least a few are being able to use this video, I think the motive of this channel and the motive of me working is achieved. Thanks a lot for your patience and I really wish you and all the best for the upcoming interview that you're about to attend to. This is me, Varun Rao, logging off with an expectation that I would be interacting with you in the upcoming video with more content. Have a great day. Take care.